Okay, for today's lesson, we're talking about now solving multi-step inequalities. So first, let's re remember what an inequality is, okay? An inequality is anything in math where one side is not equal to the other. So we're very used to working with equations where one side is equal to the other, right? In this case, inequalities, inequalities we're talking about one side is not equal to the other. Greater, so here are some of the inequality signs we're going to run across. A greater than sign, less than sign, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. And remember that the easy trick to remember these is that uh, these signs look kind of like, like a mouth, like an alligator's mouth, right? And the alligator, of course, wants to eat the bigger side. He's hungry, he's greedy, he wants to eat what side is more. So whichever side the mouth is open toward, that side is going to be the larger side. Okay, so that's what we're talking about here. And the good news is this is almost exactly like solving equations, what we've been doing for the last several weeks. Okay, so that's good news. There's very little difference, especially at first. If we're looking at uh, this example here to start off with, x minus 7 is greater than 8. Okay. You solve these in the exact same way. You're trying to get the variable all by itself. You're trying to get x, in this case, all by itself on that one side of the inequality. And you treat this greater than sign exactly like you would treat the equal sign. You say this is like our divider between the one side and the other. What do we have on the same side as the x? Well, it's the 7. What is it doing? It's subtracting. What do you need to do? You need to add it. So you would add 7 to both sides. And in this case, you would get x is greater than, because that's what it was to start off with, x is greater than 15, and there you go. That's your answer. Now, let's think about what this means. Remember, before, when we had equal signs, x equals 1, what that meant was 1 is the only number that x can be to make the whole statement true, right? Now we have x is greater than 15. That means in order to make this original statement true, let me erase what I wrote up there. In order to make this original thing true, there's all kinds of numbers that would work. In fact, literally any number that is bigger than 15. If we put 16 in for x, it'll be true. If we put 17 in for x, it'll be true. If we put in 100 for x, it'll be true. Any number bigger than 15 is going to make this original statement true. And just to show you, let's prove it. Let's go ahead and use 100. If x is 100, 100 minus 7, that's 93. Is 93 greater than 8? Yeah, it is. So 100 works. And just to show you that any number less than 15 won't work, let's try 0. 0 minus 7 is negative 7. Is negative 7 bigger than 8? No, not at all. Okay, so that's not true. So any number bigger than 15 will make that statement true. Moving to the right side, the second example here, x plus 12 is less than or equal to 6. Okay? Again, this is like our divider, this less than or equal to. We're trying to get the numbers on this side away from that side, away from the x, trying to get the x by itself. x plus 12, well, we've got to get rid of that 12 by subtracting 12 from both sides. And we get x. Remember, you keep this sign exactly the same as what it started off as. So x is less than or equal to negative 6 in this case, because we had to add the opposite. 6 plus negative 12 is negative 6. There's our answer. Any number less than or equal to negative 6 will solve this original inequality. Okay? So again, we solve these in the exact same way as what we were doing. Okay? Now here's the only single difference at all. There's an exception for multiplication and division. And the exception is this. If you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. Okay? So before we look at these two, let me just show you how a regular problem would work. 6x is greater than 36. Okay, solve in the exact same way. We've got to get rid of the 6. The 6 is multiplying right now, so we need to divide. Divide by 6, divide by 6, and you get x greater than 6, because 36 divided by 6 is 6. Right, just like normal, just like normal. But here's the exception, as I mentioned a second ago. If you multiply or divide by a negative number, what you have to do is flip the sign. Let me show you what I mean. Negative 7x is less than 42. Okay? 
We've got to get rid of this negative 7. What is the negative 7 doing? It is multiplying. So how do you get rid of it? You divide. Divide by negative 7. Divide by negative 7. Well, this goes away, and we get x. 42 divided by negative 7 is negative 6. But here's the thing. Since we divided by a negative number, we have to flip the sign. It started off as a less than sign. Now it becomes a greater than sign. So our final answer is x is greater than negative 6. We only flip it because we divided by a negative number. If we divide by a positive number, we don't flip it. Sign stays the same. But since we divide by a negative, it flips. Let's look at the second example over here. x divided by negative 4 is greater than or equal to 6. Okay? Got to get rid of this negative 4. It's dividing right now. We need to multiply. Multiply on this side. Multiply on, multiply on this side. That goes away and we get x. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. But look, we multiplied by a negative number. So we have to flip the sign. Instead of greater than or equal to, it's less than or equal to. And there's our final answer. x is less than or equal to negative 24. Multiply or divide by a negative number, you flip the sign. It's easy to get this confused with a few other situations. So I may put some examples up here. The left side, you can see, yes, flip. In these situations, you would flip the sign. On the right, no, don't flip. Okay, so let's look at the difference. On the left, we've got negative 8x is less than negative 64. What would we do? We would divide by negative 8, divide by negative 8. And since we're dividing by a negative, yes, we flip the sign. x greater than 8. Sign gets flipped. Here, we're dividing by negative 4 on both sides. And because we're dividing by a negative, yes, the sign gets flipped. It went from greater than to less than. And on this one here, it starts off as divided by negative 5, so we've got to multiply by negative 5 on both sides. And we multiply by a negative, so yes, we've got to flip it, and it becomes x is greater than or equal to negative 35. Okay, on this side, you do not flip the sign. Okay, watch. 6x, we've got to divide by 6, divide by 6, we get x is greater than negative 12. Notice the sign stayed exactly the same as it was. And you might be like, wait a minute, Mr. Reed, there's a negative number here. That's true, but we didn't divide by negative 72. We divided by positive 6. And since it's the positive number that we're dividing by, sign doesn't flip. Same thing here. Divide by 12, divide by 12. We do have a negative number in here, but we're not dividing by the negative. We're dividing by the positive number. So the sign does not flip. X is less than negative 2. And finally, same thing here. We're multiplying by 9 multiplying by 9, and even though we have this negative here, since we're multiplying by a positive number, sign stays the same. x is less than negative 54. So be very careful. Just determine which of these situations you've got before you decide to flip the sign or not. Last thing, we can have multi-step inequalities here. Multi-step, and again, that's exactly the same as what we learned. You're going to solve it using reverse PEMDAS. So 3x minus 12 is less than 3. First, we gotta get it, got to get rid of this 12 because it is subtracting. And according to reverse PEMDAS, subtraction and addition come first. So we're going to add 12, add 12. We get 3x is less than 15. And secondly, we're going to divide by 3, divide by 3. We get x is less than 5. And there's our answer. Okay? Pretty simple. On this side, we've got to get rid of the 8 first. According to reverse PEMDAS, we've got to get rid of what's being added or subtracted. So we're going to get rid of this by subtracting 8 from both sides. And we get x over negative 5 is greater than 8. Okay, last step. This is being divided. We have to multiply it. Multiply by negative 5. Multiply by negative 5. And this time, because we're multiplying by a negative number, we have to flip the sign. 
So we flip the sign, this cancels out, and we've got x is less than negative 40. There it is. Okay? I think that'll be enough examples uh, to get you started on your work tomorrow in class. Be sure you remember to answer the questions in the description below for your homework, and I will see you tomorrow.